some and wine. And wine, and of wine. course. Georgia is a, uh, Georgians are first wine maker, wine makers. Uh, first one, uh, wine was produced here 8,000 years ago. So we have all kinds of wine, uh, dry, sweet, semi-sweet, uh, white, uh, red, and so on. Wow. Uh, yes. and, I, and I I think that the, the, the name uh, wine we know it is actually derived from a Georgian From Georgia, because in our language, uh, wine is Gravino. Gravino, <laughs> yes, like a French word, but it's a Georgian. And this word, wine, uh, vino, it's a Russian, uh, it's derived from Georgian word Gravino. Yes. Uh, we have many Indian tourists, uh, and Indians really like this country. They like food, uh, which is vegetarian, non-vegetarian, non spicy, non-spicy, non and so on. So what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of an Indian? Indian, yes. Uh, first thing, uh, I'm thinking it's that uh, India has a great culture, and all Georgians are dreaming about visiting, in, about visiting India. Oh, you made all the Indians feel really good now. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We love Indians very much. So what, what, what all, what do you know about India? Right? Like, uh, what are the first few things that come yes, to mind? Yes, uh, I know that India has uh, one of the most, most, most ancient culture in the world, um, which is very interesting, of, of course. Uh, Indians are about 2 billion, yes. 1.4. <laughs> don't don't, <laughs> don't get, us up, get our population up so fast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and Indians are very intelligent people, as I see and I know. Do so you think a Georgian Most is more intelligent or an Indian? Uh, <laughs> no, we are, we are just four million. Yes, we are just four million. Uh -huh. And mostly they are do have doctors, uh -huh. yes, as I know. And, um, Do you have Georgian and Indian doctors in Georgia? Uh, we have many Indian uh, students in our medical university. Okay. So, what are the different types of wine? Different type? Yeah, okay. this is only wine. Okay, what is, the what is the difference? What is the difference? Great difference. Okay, this, like they're all different? This is red dry wine, uh -huh. semi dry wine, rose. Okay. White dry, white dry, Mukuzani red dry wine, Ino Parel, Hashmi red dry wine, uh, red semi sweet, red semi sweet, red semi sweet, uh, white semi sweet. Wow. And is it that's different or this is the yeah, same? Yeah, company different. That, that is different. Company. Yeah. Okay, what are those? Can you tell me? This is white dry. Uh -huh. This is white dry. Red dry. Uh, red semi sweet. Red semi sweet. Rose semi sweet. Uh, white semi sweet. Uh, red uh, semi dry. Red cha cha. Cha cha. Okay. And, and these are also different. This is red dry wine, uh, red semi sweet wine, uh, red semi sweet wine, white semi sweet, white semi sweet, white, semi -sweet, white dry, uh, rose dry. And that one? This is red. Red wine. This is semi sweet wine. Uh huh. This is semi sweet, semi dry. This is semi dry wine. Uh, this is white semi sweet, uh, white dry. And so much. This is white dry, white semi sweet, rose semi sweet, uh, red semi sweet, red semi sweet, red dry, and uh, red dry. Uh, so I'm with the minister, and uh, you know I thought he'll be able to tell us a little bit about uh, the state and uh, a state which not many people have heard about. So, so tell us a little bit about this area. Yeah, thank you very much for your interest. Uh, actually, Georgia is is uh, is a very well-known country, in mainly from the CIS and European Union Union countries. And of course, our idea is to get uh, and make the country popular for the Indian uh, visitors and Asian visitors as well. So, Georgia is one of the oldest uh, countries uh, uh, and we are the oldest wine producing country so I would like to especially invite all the people who love and who would like to, to drink the, the real wine the Georgian wine uh, together with the very famous Georgian cuisine 
they are very much welcome. Uh, we have very nice uh, summer uh, destinations over here, the sea, sun, uh, and very beautiful climate. Uh, you can see, find um, all the climatic zones, like 11 climatic zones over here. So uh, all the visitors who look for uh, something uh, from the sea and sun up to the hilly uh, mountains and snow, you can definitely find everything over here. So you are very much welcome and I hope to see a lot of uh, visitors from India uh, to, to Georgia and especially to Batumi. And I have to ask you this, what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think, when somebody says India to you? What, what do you think about? It's uh, Taj Mahal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and do you like do you Indian food? Uh, or do you have Indian for sure. For, I, I really, really like it. I appreciate it very much. And uh, I have very nice Indian friends uh, over in Batumi and outside of the country. And I think uh, there are a lot of um, kind of the mental similarities, the cultural backgrounds, what can uh, really uh, what really unites our, our people and I think it should be very easy for our people to communicate and build a very nice relationships. For getting the uh, business we are working with in Georgia, um, uh, we can get it, but like if you have, you must have some percentage in the total quantity, like uh, uh, you must have 75% local people and 25% can be expats. So this 25% can be arranged. Um, uh, it's like official state minimum fees, like it's not as uh, big expenses for that, and you can bring some people. And this garment industry, uh, the diesel industry here in Georgia, I mean, uh, how much uh, share is there in, uh, how, many, how many companies are existing here in making garments here? Uh, making, what making? Garment uh, yes. yes. uh, yes. textiles. textiles. Yes. Good taste actually we have uh, many textile manufacturers, in like Nike, Puma, uh, they are making it there. Um, so if we calculate, it won't be big quantity like the compared, right. especially with India. From uh, two dollars per month, one square meter, one square meter. Yeah. and it increases up to like uh, four dollars max. Depends on the uh, quantity, uh, of the size, yes, and yeah, on yeah, the. Yeah. Uh, Loans of course, of course. But uh, you need some history. So yeah. we have some startup projects as well. It's quite difficult to get the to get the loan for, uh, via these startups because they uh, require the mortgage for, for for the loans. And most of the foreigners they don't have any any uh, real estate in Georgia. But uh, history in, in Georgia or in Georgia. otherwise in Georgia. Okay. So after six months you can apply even for the loan. The um, at the moment it's like uh, 10, 12, 8, depends, depends on the business model and the amount. And the currency, if you are getting uh, a loan in euros, it's up to 4 5 percent. If you are getting a loan in dollars, it's up to 6, 7 percent. If you are getting a loan in Georgian Larry, it's up to 10 percent, 12 maybe. Yeah. Is there a lot of fluctuation yeah. between and Say it again, please. A lot of fluctuation between European currency, for example, euro or dollar, between. Uh, I wouldn't say so. Yeah. Not too much. That's the product. He then pays the VAT and he distributes around his customers within Georgia. So only four percent. Only with the Georgia. Only sales to Georgia. If you sell to any country outside, you don't pay. Anything. It's totally zero. So it's four percent in addition to eighteen percent VAT. Uh, so uh, let's say if you are the freezer and I'm the Georgian company, yes. you pay the four percent, and when I get it, I pay eighteen percent. Okay. But eighteen percent, it's a uh, refundable tax, I believe. So I pay it today, and I get it back from my customer when I sell. In Georgia, it's an indirect type of tax when you can refund it from the government. You mentioned about the uh, international trade without physical import. So if I'm in the free trade zone, I can uh, import it from India, let's say, my product, ship it to US and get the uh, FTA benefit? Uh, FTA benefit gets the product which are manufactured here in Georgia. 
So we have to do some value addition locally to get the certificate. So it means to physically come? Yes, to physically come and some value addition you should do here. Right, right. So uh, what did that mean that probably I missed that uh, statement about without physical import? It was trading like when I want to buy something from India and sell them UAE. So I buy it from India, I send it directly to UAE without shipping it to Georgia and I like, so I... You know, I see it from there. Yeah, I just bought it, sold it and I got some profit and I took it to my personal account without any uh, corporate income tax. Yeah. And for how long this tax benefit is available? Uh, it's uh, for life long. We don't have any time frames. It's, uh, in Georgia, the law um, went into force in 2008, and since then, like 11 years, we have free zones fully operating, and uh, maybe for the next half years. Any percentage, fixed percentage for the getting uh, value? Uh, yes, but it's not fixed. Depends. Every 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 uh, agreement, like uh, with the European Union, has the specific uh, uh, agreement in which it is stated for every HS code what should be done. The same with these CIS countries. So we need the HS code to check what exactly should be the value addition to give you this uh, made in Georgia certificate. So if you give us the HS code, we will tell you exactly what you have to do to get the certificate. I will give the yes, please. What is, the what is your product? Ten towels. Towels? Yeah, what are ten towels? Okay. This is 62, 63. It's very easy to get residents. It's the, the government services are very efficient, and doing business is very easy. And all the tax issues are all automated, electronic, etc. So you don't have to communicate a lot with the government officials, etc. So ease of doing business ranking is very good. Also, we are one of the freest economies in the world, number 16, which means that we have low regulations, not too many regulations, and this is also a good thing for the business. And also, we have very low taxes. We are number eight in the world with lowest taxes. And also, we have a very good um, profit tax uh, in, in the ranking of easiness of doing business, also one of the freest economy and lowest tax rate. So the country itself is not very large, we are population is around 3.7 million people, but uh, unemployment rate is quite high, so there is some opportunity for companies, uh, so people are willing to work because there are not too many jobs. The economy itself is not of course huge compared to Indian economy, it's nothing, so we have 16 billion US uh, dollars of economy. Mm, and um, but the growth rate is uh, normal compared to region. It's around 4.9 percent according to the first quarter of this year. So we have a trade deficit. So we are importing significantly more products than we than we are exporting. So this is an additional opportunity for uh, uh, manufacturers who are export oriented because our government is all, all also seeking people who are who will be exporting from from our country. And uh, FDI, so we are, our country is very much uh, concentrated on attracting foreign direct investments and uh, our government is working on that um, um, on, on a daily basis and they are treating the investors who could bring the FDI very, 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 very well. Can I interrupt you? Yes, please. What are the products which you export and import? You can just let us know. Uh, so the products that we uh, import, yeah, they will answer. They mainly, I would say that we are importing a lot of um, uh, energy material, crude oil, mm -hmm. oil materials. Also cars, of course, we don't have the car, cars, um, um, uh, industry, car industry manufacturing industry, so we have to import all that. And uh, a lot of uh, daily materials uh, for consumer goods. So David will give you more details uh, about the export. Yeah. So in terms of the import, uh, country imports everything. Uh, so almost all positions of the goods, but like Georgi mentioned, the largest import is the petroleum products, um, the energy, as well as the grain materials and the uh, input materials for the manufacturing. Uh, in terms of the export, the key uh, key uh, products are the ores, metal ores. We also have the fertilizers, so we export the uh, ammonia nitrates. 
and uh, also we have the agriculture products, so like the hazelnuts, the primary agriculture, as well as the wine beverages. Uh, so these are the key uh, product groups. So what is your import duty? Import duty, actually it's very flexible because uh, Georgia overall, uh, ni about 90% of all product group are exempted uh, from the import taxes. Uh, for the remaining we have uh, 0, 5 and 12. Uh, the 12 applies only for very specific product, uh, mainly it's a primary agriculture products. The 5% uh, something similar to any other countries for the uh, VTO, WTO, so MFN. And uh, the remaining ones, so almost everything is zero because uh, Georgia is very, uh, the philosophy of our government to be an open market economy. So, and we are signing many free trade agreements. Uh, so that's why Georgia is very open and trying to achieve the zero import taxes to Georgia, but as well zero uh, export taxes to the uh, trade department. And how much is the tax when a company, they want to remit profit? They are principal outside Georgia. They are principal. Outside. What is the tax on dividend? Ah, 5%. 5% plus, uh, so we have system like this. If you reinvest, you don't pay profit tax, which is uh, 15%. So if you reinvest in the country, so you don't pay taxes, even if you get profits. But once you distribute dividends, on, on that amount you may you pay profit tax 15%, but plus 5% dividend tax. So total, 20%. So total is 20%, yes. But only once you distribute dividends. Before that you don't pay. But if I don't distribute, but I don't reinvest, then I pay 15%. If, it's, if uh, money stays in the company, you don't pay anything. But no, no, suppose I earn... Two million dollars. Yes. <coughs> but I do not, I keep it in the company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I still pay tax? No. no it's <coughs> so when do I pay 15 percent? When you, as, yourself, as, when, as an individual, you take dividends or you pay to outside company, outside the country. Then I pay 20 percent. Yes. Yeah. In yeah. the case you describe, it's retained earnings. So, so it's, it's, if you have that as a cash on your company bank account, then of course you don't pay. But what if I pay royalty? Then? If you, you pay royalty to to the my parent company outside then you, then you, Georgia, then you pay. then we pay. Yeah. So if I uh, once unless the when when the money is in the company, you don't pay. Even it goes outside the company, outside the country, outside, to the to the investors, to the shareholders, then then you have you pay fifteen plus five. Otherwise, you, you don't pay anything. And that five fifteen is only on the part which we. Distribute. Yes. For example, I earn, as you said, $2 million, and I have to pay $500,000 to somebody, a partner or somebody. Two, if it's supplier or something, no. And not So, and, and now let's concentrate on our project. Why are we building our port? Currently, uh, Georgia is the only country on the Black Sea coast that does not have deep sea port. So all the countries, Ukraine, Russia, Romania, Belarus, they all have deep sea ports. Our largest port, which is Poti port, is 8.4 meters deep. So this means that we can handle only the smallest container vessels in the world, 1,500 TUs. What we are building is an Aklia port, which will be 16 meters deep. So it will be the one of the deepest ports on the Black Sea. And we will be able to handle all the container vessels that go through Bosphorus Strait in Turkey to Black Sea. Where are we right now? Is it like, what, tell me about Batumi. Hey, you... now, now we are in Batumi, in the western part of Georgia. Uh, so here we have a Black Sea, Black Sea coast. Um, here we have a port also. So for, it's very good for holidays to spend here and also for a business to, to have some hotels or so on. Uh, so Batumi is not a very a new, a new city. Uh, it was known even by uh, ancient Greeks and Romans. Uh, here was a settlement, a little town, and now we have a city like this. We, we are ready to go to a kind of um, um, high class uh, hotel. First of all, Georgia is a very, very unique country. I'll tell you why. Starting from the cuisine, we have different type of cuisine, starting from spicy cuisine, sweet cuisine, fat cuisine, 
not that fat cuisine. I mean, if you like meat, any type of meat, if you like vegetables, we have a good conditions for growing vegetables in here. So many which comes to the restaurants, in especially Georgian restaurants, is totally fresh. Another thing is the subtropical climate. So once we are here now in Anjara and now it's very sunny weather, now like maybe two hours or three hours from here, if you go to the north side, it will be snowy in there. So if you want to go to the beach, you can go to the beach in here. If you want to do a skiing, you can already do a skiing. It's 5th of July. So, so I'm with uh, Jumbar Toguchi, Mr. Mr. Toguchi, yes. and he's from the Ajara Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And you know, yes, I'm deputy chair. De deputy chair of the Ajara Chamber of yes. Commerce and Industry. And to start with, I want you to tell people about Ajara because this is something that people have ah. not only Georgia but Ajara people have never heard about. So Georgia. tell me, tell me about what is Ajara? Ah, Ajara is region of Georgia. It's very nice region. We are very glad meeting to Indian people. We are very glad also see also Indian tourists in here, Indian investments. Please come to us to Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, uh, what are the things that people should come to Ajara for? Like, what kind of things can people uh, come India. and see in uh, Ajara? Like uh, business or tourism or like what? What? What do you think is the best features uh, of Ajara? Main is uh, uh, important way from uh, it's uh, tourism, it's, uh, uh, tourism, it's mountain tourism, sea tourism, uh, also also um, yeah, construction also in Batumi also very popular in construction. Uh, we have some firms who uh, made some building here. Also, uh, we know Indian also have some contractions uh, details. Please. Mm, today we uh, connected with some Indian people who made something for the construction with ours also also businessmen maybe uh, they made some contract that uh, working with uh, each other. Okay. And what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of the word India? Ah, India is uh, for us is a very very tale country. So for our children, we when grow also we listen to India. This is Mowgli. This is to very nice uh, country. India is a uh, fairy tale country for us. Fairy tale country. Fairy so tale what, country. <laughs> what? What do you? What were the fairy tales which you heard of India? <laughs> India. Tell, tell us some stories. Uh, but. Uh, uh, is uh, everything in children times we uh, we writing some things for Kipling uh, Mowgli. Uh -huh, Kipling. Uh, okay. Our mind is wow. a representative. Is uh, India is a fairy tale country. <laughs> wow. We, so we love to come and uh, the fairy tale country would love to connect with uh, Georgia and Ajmer. Yes, so Georgia also a fairy tale. Country. Fairy tale. <laughs> the two fairy tale countries two coming fairies. together. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you also. <laughs> Everybody, I'm with uh, Nutsa and she runs, she's an amazing lady, she's an entrepreneur, she's an achiever and she runs a, a wine company. And I, I thought I'll, and surrounded by wine bottles, I thought I'll ask her, tell me something about the company and about, you know, y your company and how you became, what all you do. So, I'm Nutsa, I come from Georgia, uh, we are now at the Tbilisi International Airport and we see the very, I mean, crowded some halls because we have so many guests arriving and tourists and travelers arriving in Georgia and one of our uh, slogan is spend your summer in Georgia, so and I'm very thankful that you also spend your holiday and some business trip in this amazing country. Uh, about wine. Yes, I represent company Schuchmann um, Winery. So, and we 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 are very happy to have these 8,000 years uh, uh, experience of wine growing and then selling these wines in entire world. And of course, women in politics, women in business are very important, not only in Georgia but in the world. So, and uh, that's why, so this country is pretty amazing, uh, has so many interesting sightseeing, uh, so many fantastic varieties of grapes, of wines, of cuisine. Tell me something. You know, Hachapuri is, by the way, protected by UNESCO. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, I didn't Alongside know that. Alongside with Georgian Clevery wine, 
you know, the quarries, maybe we can see these clay, uh, clay pots like uh -huh. amphoras. Uh -huh. It's very nice. Uh, this is uh, like uh, clay pots, like jars. These are clevery and protected by UNESCO with the 8,000 uh, um, years of uh, winemaking. And this is very ancient. What, what is this used for? Uh, here we make Georgian wine. Here we ferment uh, Georgian wine. Then afterwards goes unfiltered in bottle. So in this counts 8,000 years. And that's why this is very uh, unique uh, tradition of Georgian uh, people. And we are very glad to share this fantastic tradition uh, to the world and to the travelers. So tell me something more Georgian wine. Give me a, a two minute tutorial on Georgian wine. I know it's tough, but uh, so, you know. Um, uh, by the way, to share this fantastic experience to the world, because uh, I represent business uh, in wine, and that's why so I have some business trip as well. Uh, what is interesting in Georgia? So I will uh, list some facts uh, on Georgian wine. Uh, you know that uh, in the world there is uh, more than 2,000 grape varieties, wow. and out of this number, more than 500 comes from Georgia. One fourth. Okay, yes. Wow. One fourth come from Georgia. Um, mainly, uh, the Georgian wines, uh, grapes come from Kaheti region, where uh, we can find 18% of wineries located there. And also, Schuchman Winery locates in Kaheti. There is a fantastic Alazani Valley on the top of the Caucasus Mountains, you know. This is also a second important fact. Uh, if to, to make you clear, because I'm sure next time you will visit our winery and Kaheti region, this is like Napa Valley, this is like Bordeaux of Georgia. And so many travelers are coming to see this fantastic region, you know. Uh, also, uh, third point is that Georgian wine were protected by UNESCO Foundation, as we mentioned already. This is also very nice news. Uh, and uh, Georgian cuisine also. We have a fantastic wine and dine experience and product to offer our guests they come in Georgia. And also great nature. In one small country you can see sea, you can see mountains, you can see ski resorts and vineyards, everything in one place. So how many types of wines do you do? Like uh, we do more than 20, 25 wines, so these are mainly Georgian, of course, but we also use European style of winemaking, you know, with some European grape varieties. These are Cabernet Sauvignon, these are Merlot, Malbec, Chardonnay, okay, and we are making also some Cuvée wines, and we sell our wines uh, in more than 20 countries. And by the way, we already mentioned that Georgia as India uh, has very nice potential to cooperate, to trade with, and this is a free trade agreement, what we are looking for. And maybe you will also try Shukman wines and Georgian wines in your country, in your incredible India. Absolutely. Okay? So what do you know about India? Let me, I, I need... Uh, uh, I know from India also the fantastic history, from the history. Uh, I know that you have fantastic filming sector like Bollywood. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that uh, you have uh, very nice cuisine. Uh, and I know that you have, um, your, your uh, touristic sector is booming. Okay. I know, of course, Taj Mahal, uh -huh. and I know that there is a possible possibility to, to ride on, 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 on elephants. Yeah.